Zach's love of Old Forester is going to be on full display today. Today we decide the tier list for Old Forester. Yay! Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are going to give you the best and the worst of Old Forester today. Well, you know, after talking about or the this, worst of the best, is that what we're going to say? Well, we only figured there was one bottle that we both agreed that was not good. Yeah. It's not a real bottle anyway. And it's technically not a real bottle. No. So, uh... But someone did send it to us during Advent one time. Jerk. Yeah. Totally jerk. Uh, by the way, that one bottle is the uh, Mint and Julep bottle, which is just perfect for Derby time. It is. Um... But yeah, so that's definitely, that. that's not on our list. Every other bottle, though, we have on our list, uh, honestly, they're all pretty good. Yeah, they're good. Some of them are great. Yeah. Some of them are pretty good. Yeah. And then we had, I don't want to say an argument, but a... A disagreement. A disagreement on the order, and we somehow settled on this. Mom and Dad, why are you always fighting? Yeah. So, uh, but really quick before we start, hit that like, subscribe, and le let us know in the comments below what we got right, what we got wrong, and yep. whenever you start yelling at us for one very popular bottle being really low, I give you a heads up. Uh, but before we begin, there's five bottles that we just didn't put on the list just because once you start going through everything, there's like 16, there's, 17, there's 18 47 bottles. 47 bottles. Yeah, there's a lot. So we'll show you a video. These are our bottom five. No real particular order. No, we just didn't decide. Just bottom five. But anyways, so we'll start. The first bottle we're going to start with out of our... Oh, yeah, this is top 10 now. Worked top out. 10. The, it worked our, out nicely. Our top 10. Our 10th bottle is 1910. Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. We're talking about the top 10 old Forrester bottles today. <laughs> I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Shocker that this is this far down on the list. But this was relatively easy for us to agree. Yeah, I, I do think it is. It, it, like I said, it's in the top ten, so it's good. Uh, it is solid. Yeah, it is just a smooth, good drinker. Like if you're wanting to wet your palate in the evening ahead of drinking maybe some higher proof stuff, like this is a perfect one to do. This was one of the bottles actually on the list. I was thinking to myself, I couldn't really recall last time I drank it. It's been a little bit. Actually, I went on a tour and got the extra, extra old, and mm -hmm. they had that as that part probably of the would have been because yep. I went on a similar tour. Yeah. So, uh, next one, and I could actually argue this should be higher on the list for me, but it is what it is. Old Forester One Hundred. Again, it, it's good. You can't complain. Like, I agree. It's it actually, be, it it's actually one of my like probably out of all my warm up whiskeys. It's probably my favorite one. Just because this is such a simple note that I'm going to get. Yeah. It's that banana, banana laffy taffy note that is so easy to recognize. And whenever that feels a little off, you just don't have it. Yeah. I, and I can attest to this. Uh, whenever we're doing stuff, this is like his go-to one to grab off the shelf and go, I need to wet my whistle. Yep. So For sure. Yep. Good stuff. All right. So we'll just that go That was ahead. number eight. No, well, that was number nine. Oh, yeah, number nine. Number eight. Number and eight. this is the one that's going to start to upset people. It's all right. People can be upset. And you can agree to disagree. But. Old Forester Birthday Bourbon. So, this one is 2019. This one's really good. Yep. If we were judging just based off 2019, it would be incredibly yeah, higher. Yeah, it'd be on the way list. higher on the list. How we're looking at this is the overall birthdays. Yeah. They're very. Hit or miss, and I'm putting that very nicely. Yeah. Some of you know what we're talking about. Sometimes you've had a really good birthday. Sometimes <laughs> you've had a crappy birthday. It's just the nature of the beast. Some, some are better. Uh, and this being this low, this far down on the list, that doesn't mean that they're not overall good. Like even the 2022 that I think's boring and flat. Mm -hmm. It's so, not that it's bad. Nope. Just, again, you're, you're talking like it's an expensive bottle mm -hmm. with... with sometimes mediocre liquid in it yeah i feel like it's about 50 50. yeah i, I honestly so, i feel like we're i, I stand by it being eight, eighth on the list i'm okay with that y'all yeah. can send all eight to my way <laughs> because i kind of I, I don't know if i had to fight too hard for that to be there but i kept pushing it down the list we both kept pushing it out yeah. to be fair a bottle that we did fight over we did fight over this old forester hunter proof rye in the seventh spot now he reluctantly agreed to it. Uh, yeah, bottle. pretty much. I pushed this bottle down. I let one bottle go up that, honestly, I would flip on this list. and yeah. Or at least have my... This would be my top five. 
for sure. I love this. This is one of my favorite rise, if not like my second favorite daily rye. Well, it's between this and Hard Truth and Sagamore Castrate. Yeah. Great bottle. Absolutely fantastic. Was a little hard to get for a while, but now it's back on the shelves. And that's my love story with it. Now, Dave, crap all over it. It is not my favorite rye. Uh, <laughs> never has been. I don't know that it ever will be. And I've like, <laughs> I'm, I like, I'm getting to the point where I really like rides. As a matter of fact, I bought one just the other day. Shocker. He yeah. bought whiskey, guys. Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> Breaking news. Dave buys whiskey. My, my money my, my money allocated for bourbon is now being allocated for bourbon again, as opposed to the bajillion other things that I have to. But, um, yeah, I just, this is just one. He, tr like, he tried to get me to fall in love with this one because he likes it so much, and it just has never hit me right. This or the Elijah Craig, I don't enjoy really either one of them. I can still understand um, that. And so it's, and maybe it's because I don't love like necessarily traditional rise mm -hmm. in, in the in the most traditional sense. And so I just, I don't like it. <sighs> I'm just disappointed. <laughs> All right, next one on the list. These are the 100 proof single barrels. I think these are greatly underrated i do too like like they are just extremely kind of forgot about because everybody chases after barrel strength yeah barrel strengths are great i'm not saying they're not uh one of my big things about the single barrels that we get a lot around here we're very fortunate we have yeah, a distillery by us so we have some really special single barrels and this is like this one right here actually i have not tried this one yet this is the last one i think jackie actually picked oh. but these to me just get slept on and forgotten about in a way and for a while like you couldn't really find any hunter proofs yeah. like whenever covid was kind of like at the peak yeah. couldn't find any hunter proofs anywhere and then they just slowly started coming back out and i just love being able to drink on it during the summer to me for everybody who thinks like that the barrels the single barrel barrel strengths have a little too much heat to them because that is one of the complaints can for the barrel strengths like they they just run hot for whatever reason which sometimes they do yeah. sometimes they do and so uh, because we get a lot of them in this area, we get to taste a bunch of them, and they're not all that way. So I understand, like in some mm -hmm. other areas where um, single barrel barrel strength may come along once every once a year or sure. something like that. Maybe it's a little different. Uh, but to me, this is proofed down in a way that is just so welcoming mm -hmm. for as a single barrel barrel yeah. pick. Like it's just a welcoming, like just goodness that I, 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 I just I, I've not met one of those that I don't like I, I thousand percent agree with that one yeah all right next one and maybe this one's too low too maybe, maybe this one should have been high maybe it is 1920 it's one of the greatest bottles ever made it is it's available everywhere it's fantastic it has the right amount of proof and it is a dish it is delicious. Again, the proof is perfect. I, I don't know what else to say about it. You all know how much we've talked about this before. Uh, our love for, for 1920. Uh, so it is what it is. It's just great. Yep. All right, next one. We also had some... We had to we had to kind of figure out where we were going to position. We had, we had to have a conversation yep. with this one. So this is the 117 series. So Dave, actually, you actually made a really great point. You said some of these are, I don't want to say like unicorns, like yeah. unicorns, unicorns, but like some of these are super special. Yeah. You know, I think, you know, the, the whiskey real fire one is really fire, special. Angel share. Yeah. I, you know, the, you know, extra old, I think is really good. Yeah. But then there are some that just don't quite live up to that hype. Yeah. I think they're all good. Yeah. They're all good. Uh, except for maybe we'll see what the Scotch barrel one does. Yeah. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> that's it. Super excited about that one. But, I do think at the end of the day, for these being quote unquote a Old Forester gift shop exclusive, I do think they hit the right mark when they hit. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. All right. And you always get two for one. It's amazing that Dave didn't want to put the hundred proof rye up there, but he was very content on putting the Old Forester barrel strength rye really high. Uh. It's because this is this one actually maybe outside of seagrass barrel seagrass. Um, this one kind of started my venture into liking rise. Mm -hmm. Like this one just 
And obviously, this is not the same. It's definitely not the same barrel as the first one I had. But no, but I they're, to they're, be honest with you, if you want good consistency, I think that they're all pretty consistent yeah. with what you're getting. Yeah, and so I just really enjoyed this one. I enjoyed actually kind of the the proof of it. I I, I just enjoyed everything kind of about that, and it kind of it's like nostalgic for me. It kind of sent me down this road of because seagrass was a really really funky rye yeah and this one good. this one is uh, was a really good rye too more and, and and so both of those married together just made me start going well maybe maybe i don't hate rye that much except for the old forester fry. I, I just don't understand by the way this is third we have not said any of the numbers on the list yeah but... it's all right we'll, we'll i'll mark them down at the bottom it'll be fine oh, yeah. it'll be we'll, cute we'll see we'll see all right, so number two on our list is going to be our Old Forester Barrel Strengths. So I already know what's coming. I, I know a lot of people are going to say like they come off really hot, they come off young, and some of that is true. Like if I'm if I'm going to be fair about that, I feel like whenever they were first starting to hit the market, a lot of them were really hot, and that kind of turned a lot of people off. Yeah, I understand totally. But with all that being said, kind of like with the Hunter Proof. Uh, single barrels, we're spoiled, and we get a lot of the distillery picks. Yeah, we or do. we get access to a lot of the distillery picks. No. And those are just on a whole nother level. And not to mention a lot of places around here now, I mean, there's a lot of good Old Forester picks that have been coming out. Coxes have been crushing it. I think they had like a barn. Liquor yeah. barn had a couple good uh, ones. I mean, so we're getting access to a lot better ones. Yeah. Uh, including also restaurants, by the way. So there's yeah. some really good restaurant uh, picks that have came out. So I think for me... You know, out of all of my Old Forester options, if I'm, I basically drink this like almost majority of the time. Now. Yeah, I, I understand that totally. Uh, I, I, I think like everything that Old Forester puts out is generally pretty smooth. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, I think it's smooth, kind of easy it, drinking. It's, kinda, it's made to be an everyday kind of yeah. drink. I think know, this I is Old Forester's way of saying like, we're here. We we can we can proof it up. Not that they need to it's like. Hey, we're I here. Know, like, I know I know what ready. you're saying. But from a from a, a punch like from a punch perspective, mm -hmm. they don't do that a lot. And so I feel like this is their opportunity to do that, and they've kind of taken it with this. And still, they proof it up. They mm -hmm. you know they kind of beef it up and give you like, hey, if you drink this, you're gonna yeah. know that you're drinking it. Yeah. That's and fair. we don't want you. We don't. We want it to be that way. Yeah. You can get past. You can get the flavors in it. You can do all that stuff. Uh, especially people who like higher proof things, you're going to like this because it gives you nuances in it that I don't think you get sometimes with some of their lower proof and easier drinking things sometimes. So yeah, I fair. just, I, I think overall it's just so solid and it's just, yeah, um, totally agree. All right. And number one on our list, number one in our hearts, president's oh, choice. Always president's choice. We get it. Distiller only exclusive. Super hard to find, super hard for us to find. Yeah. Like it's something like I work really hard for it. So it's one of my favorite lines in all of whiskey. Yeah. Um, you know, the beginning of the series was not was not very high, like met like a very high standard. Yeah. And I think probably around like eight ish, barrel eight, really started picking up. And then you have special ones like twelve and eighteen. I yeah. think twenty two is really high up there. And to me, as a fanboy of Old Forester. These are just special, special bottles. Yep, totally agree. I could add other things to that, but the truth is, it's just a special bottle. Oh, uh, that was my that bottle. was my love letter to Forster. Yeah, so <laughs> uh, just great stuff. Uh, tell us what you liked on our list. Tell us what you hated on our list. Tell us where we got wrong. Up till the next time. We'll see you. We'll see you.